Two and a half thousand people live in this camp next to the United Nations peacekeeping base in Bor, having sought sanctuary from ongoing violence in the surrounding region. We call that life now. It's not good and it's not fantastic. There is no something pumping going on for us here because we are in a risk place. These internally displaced people are among more than 213,000 South Sudanese living in six UN protected sites across the country. The sites exist to shelter people who believe they face the threat of physical violence and genuinely fear for their lives. It's also important to note that the government has the primary responsibility to protect its own people. And the POCs, I'll, I'll just point out um, and remind everyone, were never intended as long-term solutions to the displacement crisis. And overwhelmingly, and certainly in my experience talking to people in these sites, as I've done on many occasions, uh, they are keen to, re to return home and restart their lives. But in many cases, we are still far from conditions for them to do that. While numbers in the sites fluctuate, depending on the security situation, the trend is showing a slow decline. A number of joint initiatives are underway in areas like Boa, Benchu, Wao and Malut to encourage this process by creating safe and supported environments outside the camps so people can choose to return home. In opposition-held territory in Okobo, in the northeast of the country, it is a very different situation. More than 70,000 vulnerable South Sudanese have fled to makeshift camps and communities in fear for their lives. There is no protection site here, although up to 15 humanitarian agencies are supporting them with shelter, food, water and health care. We will be talking to uh, our people. The needs of these people are immense, so UNMIS is now considering how to provide a stronger peacekeeping presence to protect them and enable the safe delivery of aid. What we're doing at the moment is just seeing how we can uh, have a presence. It takes quite a bit of logistics to build a base, so what we're looking at doing is some sort of presence in the interim, you know, to be able to do the things that we, we want and are able to do to to help them. South Sudan creates a constant challenge for the UN mission, which needs to adapt its peacekeeping operations to prioritise the most vulnerable people in the most volatile areas. The ongoing deployment of the Regional Protection Force is enabling the mission to extend its presence into these trouble spots, while also maintaining a secure environment in the capital Juba. It is hoped that this will give many more families the confidence to return to their homes to live safely and with dignity.